Alrighty, YouTube. What's going on, people? Um, we are here doing some network testing, speed testing, and this is on my road trip um, playlist. So I am on my way home. It's Christmas time, and it's time to go see the folks, see the relatives, see the in-laws. And right now, so I'm about a, about an hour and 15 minutes outside of Washington, D.C., as you can see here. And we're at Bowling Green. So anybody that's on that lives on the East Coast travels between DC and Richmond or DC and North Carolina on a regular basis. Um, I'm about 30 minutes outside of Frederick, Fredericksburg, and about an hour and 15 minutes outside of DC. So this is gonna be my first test of many. Um, now that we're outside the I know that we're outside the advantages of what T-Mobile uh, has being in a city So we want to see what the performance is going to be like outside of a city out here in the um, rural America So right now we got Verizon that's going to be on the left and T-Mobile is going to be on the right So right now you see that T-Mobile's at 2 band 2 at 15 megahertz coverage seems to be pretty good so we can't blame um lack of signal for this and and it's dss uh not dss but it's aggregating n5 uh in n71 for uh t-mobile right now let's see what it, what we got for verizon and verizon is giving us band 66 10 megahertz for the uh anchor band right now so this is what we're working with let's see what we got so verizon and t-mobile seem to be on par with each other out here in um Rural America, you know, truck truck drivers use Verizon probably more, maybe even AT and T. But do you ever give a thought to um, T Mobile? Look like they're trying to hold their own right now. So Verizon on the left being forty three point nine megabits per second and seven point three five megabits per second uh, up. T-Mobile at 48.6 megabits per second down and 7.95 megabits up. The middle second pings are high for T-Mobile, relatively even for uh, Verizon. So, next. Good old speed test. So Verizon here on the left, T-Mobile on the right. What do we got? What do we got? Well, that's different. Uh, we probably are starting to get more people coming in. It, we are it's about 504 in the morning so I'm heading home pretty early uh, Verizon at 8.86 down and 7.61 up T-Mobile is at 53.9 down and 6.43 up so next one Fast.com. And Verizon is still going to cap me because I'm not on um, ultra, ultra wide band for Verizon at 3.4 megabits down. And T Mobile is still giving me. Whatever it can give me at 38 megabits 
down currently. All right, so this is a new one for me. We're gonna do a direct download test between the two. No thanks. Here we go. They're downloaded now. So it's downloading a one gig file. It's saying 10 minutes for Verizon and saying 13 minutes for T-Mobile. So right now we're not getting much data throughput currently on either one of these um, cell carriers currently right now. So we're not gonna wait five and 10 minutes for this, but it does give you an idea of well, how much data they would pull if they were able to pull um, as much as they can. So right now, I think they're averaging about 20, 20 megabits per second on T-Mobile and about 30 to 40 megabits per second on Verizon. Seeing so four minutes left for that. Five minutes left for this one. Well, I think Verizon would get this one because there's more time left on T-Mobile than it is on Verizon. So we're going to end that there and then do this last test, which is Imperv. Where's, oh, there it is. Why is it going to turn it sideways? Well, it wants to be difficult. fix it on the next video all right so Verizon is at maxed out at 40 megs and I think T-Mobile maxed out at 45 megs So they're both on LTE. T-Mobile's doing more um, non-standalone, even though they got the uh, N71 triggering also. And they're almost done with the video. Verizon's moving on to the 1080p test. T-Mobile's following up at the 720p test. All right. And what we have here is Verizon at 40.9 megabits per second down in 14.52 megabits per second up with a 56 millisecond uh, latency. T-Mobile is at 45 down. Since it's turned sideways, I can't see the rest for T-Mobile. But you can see the score difference um, browsing and streaming. T-Mobile's is low compared to Verizon, which is for, uh, the browsing and streaming is very good. T-Mobile's not doing so hot out here in rural America uh, off of this truck stop. 
So we're going to try another one and get back to y'all again. Thank y'all for watching.